What is going down, NVIDIA family? There's a lot brewing up inside of the brand new driver. 471.96 is among us. We're going to be sizing it up against the 471.68 and the optimal performance. We will get benchmarks inside of the 3D mark. We'll be looking at some patch notes and you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. My name is Mac. If you're brand new, hit that subscription button and accompany it with a notification bell for all the future updates that will be rolling across because there's a lot of excitement that's going to be brewing in. So let's go ahead and scroll into it. Now to take a look at where the driver started off, the brand new driver is to the right, the older driver is to the left. So 471.96 is a very nice driver with the hardware accelerator on, which you can see is lined up on the top. Now sizing them up, you can see that there's a reverse action across the board. Very interesting. Port Royal, ray tracing cores, but you're getting a really cool performance boost with the newer driver with or without the physical hardware accelerator on, which is pretty good comparatively when you look at the drops that you're getting with the older driver and the newer driver beats it even at the median. So at this point in time, let's go ahead and take a look at our patch notes, which there is tons of fixes from a support from the Kepler desktop to the GPU of the first driver of Windows 11 and the support of six new screens that we can see with a lot of titles getting an optimized optimal new setting inside of there supported by the GeForce experiences. Now as this scrolls down hopefully you can see that there are some fun titles amongst that from the Final Fantasy down to Psychonauts 2 and some new valid screens that are at least six that are listed. Now, looking at the changes that are really the newer features inside of there in the updated scaling resolution in NVIDIA's image scaling, added support from Windows 11, which was very big, as well as the CUDA 11.4. Now you can see also that the 471.41 and later added security update drivers have a bolt-in update that can be selected right over here, which will be linked down below. Now, you, there is tons of advanced notices inside the discounted support for as far as the OpenGL for the released 470 be the last driver branch support for as far as what they have. So, soak that in, and hopefully this will be something that will be more tuned for your experience leave a comment down below i would love to hear what the community has to show for the at large issues the game ready driver fixes a lot of stuff for the dvc latency is higher when color mode is set and the 8-bit compared to the 10-bit the unable to detect support display when the modes for the samsung odyssey g9 displays as well as the blue screen crash and reboot loop occurs when two Samsung Odyssey G9 screens at the 240 hertz are connected. On top of the situation of an NVIDIA run code that has also the notebook support for Windows 11 as well with the graphics and the hybrid of the GPU frequently waking up when idle. The CUDA and the Turing slash Volta GPU and the stability issues for as far as Topaz and the denoising AI. Now there are some open issues that are out there. Deathloop gets a nice tuning which should be available around September 14th or you can hit the subscription button because I will be streaming that when it goes live. On top of the situation for as far as Nvidia and their control panel after the over installing the driver in the express install the GPU scaling is enabled to the 0.59 for the upscaling factor is missing. The GPU inside of this can be very easily selected between the display to the change selectable resolution in that page. Workaround is to disable, re-enable. If it doesn't do, alternative is clean driver if you're new to that i will have some videos linked at the very end of this for utilizing nvidia's ui or 
which I would suggest is utilizing the DDU to get the ultimate reinstall and the best performance. Now while looking at Battlefield 5, DirectX 12 tuning comes down to play for the HDR when enabled. The workaround is to enable the HDR in the Windows display before launching the game. Um, inside of the situation for as far as the video playback stutter and scrolling inside of YouTube is still at large. Now you can still see the situation of the Division 2 that has some graphic artifacts and Sonic and the All-Star Racing in the crashing on some courses when water is at play. Now let's go ahead and scroll into the more expanded benchmarks. Now in DirectX 12, you can see 4K in the Time Spy Extreme. Now the graphics on the hardware accelerator off with the newer driver performs the most optimal across the board, but it's not percentage breaking like we saw in Port Royale, where there was a 62 to 64 differ depending on with the hardware accelerator off versus on for newer and older driver to get the best experience. Now, for as far as where you can see that the newer performance coming inside of 1080p inside of here, that shows something completely farther from what we saw before. Hardware accelerator off wins, but the newer driver still holds a nice contending portion. Now, when you look at where the graphics go on the hardware accelerator off, though, with the newer driver, it, it's kind of night and day. It's almost by 400 points, give or take, where it's really getting the best performance, even though it's not a percentage. When you look at the graphics score, where it, it's the 12K100 versus 12K500, going towards something is not going to be the case when it's just 250 so you're gaining like a nice performance boost when it comes down to the cleanest running of them in the four test lineups between hardware accelerator off on new driver versus old driver now this is where the hardware accelerator on with the newer driver wins it it's a nice performance boost as you can see with the scores lined up now, percentage-wise, definitely they're all kind of a tie, but if you're looking at the newer driver, it definitely is install-worthy, uh, as it either holds either close with the median, if not beating it across the board so far. But let's go ahead and get out of the 4K department of the DirectX 11 and finish up some scores with the 1080p department with Extreme, as well as just the Firestrike by itself. Now, you see some pretty cool stuff in the hardware accelerator off newer driver where it gets a nice boost um, now this is where you're getting literally like almost 400 points of like performance when you size up some of the older drivers like the old one with the hardware accelerator on so there is a lot to be said about this new driver when we're looking at just direct x11 now this is just where you see a lot of the shining grace. Same percentages, but when you look at where the graphics are, I mean, there's about another 400 points gained, if not almost darn near like 600 points uh, within certain portions if you're sizing up the hardware accelerator off versus hardware accelerator on with newer to older driver. Um, so end of the day, should you install this, yeah. This seems like a pretty paramount big driver for most people. Now, it's not like percentage breaking on a lot of portions that we've seen in the past. Like, I've seen drivers that have just like blown scores out of the water. Uh, but this is a nice step in the right direction and support for newer creations that can come from Windows 11. So if you are newer to the network, hit the like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we will see better drivers float across the shore of what we can see from NVIDIA. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.